in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make eight gear options infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here it has uh, a gear with eight teeth and then when i click the first option comes along with the icon and the detailed text you can replace your text with your own text and then comes the second option the third option fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth option so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rounded corner rectangle just click it here and then you make the height as 4.25 and the width as i'm going to make it maybe 0.9 then shape outline make it no outline then go to align center align middle now i'm going to duplicate this to duplicate select the object press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle and if you want you can just change the color also then i'm going to uh, just till this one or rotate you can rotate with this one or i can rotate by holding the alt key and use the the right arrow key on your keyboard so one time two times three times i'm going to put it again press ctrl d it will duplicate again again alt one two and three times again ctrl d one two and three times so you can see here i have created the gears uh, with eight option one two three four five six seven and eight then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here then shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle so you can see here this is perfectly uh, position in the center then i'm going to select all or you can if you want to select just press ctrl a also to select all the objects then you need to go to format merge shapes and just make it union so you can see here it has become one shape now now you can just change the colors for that right mouse click first of all make it align center align middle then right mouse click format shape go to fill and select the gradient color you have got by default four stops i'm going to delete two stops and i'm going to keep it only two select the first stop go to colors more colors and choose any color of your choice maybe i can just choose some light color like this and then the other one i'm going to choose somewhat dark color maybe kind of a pink you can see here and if you want you can just change the uh, direction so now once you have added this one you can just increase the size also hold the shift key and you can just increase it you can see here and then again align center align middle now you can give some shadow effect for that go to effects shadow and i'm going to presets scroll down go to inner and you can just select select maybe top left you can see something like this and you can make it less blur also or you can increase the blurness also something like this now once you have done this one i'm going to add a few more uh, circles here go to insert shapes select the oval shape again hold the shift key to draw a perfect circle and align center align middle shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some light gray color again press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size again holding the shift key you can see here and i'm going to give some dark colors here and just put it again in the center now if you want you can just give some shadow effect for this also now let's add the oval shape for each gears now to add the oval shape you can just go to insert shapes select the oval shape again hold the shift key you can see here just make sure that it is in the center you can see and shape outline you can use some good colors go to more outline colors and for example let me just select this orange 
and you can increase the weight also you can just make it maybe two quarter and then the shape fill i'm just going to give maybe white color only now i'm just going to select this and if you want you can give a shadow effect to give the shadow effect you can press ctrl d of this one shape outline i'll make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make it black color increase the transparency level then go to effects and go to soft edges increase the size you can see here let me just increase the size a little bit and you can just position it here for example here and then just send this to back so you can see here there's a shadow effect also created now i'm going to select both of this the shadow and this oval shape press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and just place the oval at each you can see the teeth of the gear again press ctrl d one by one and then i'm just going to change the color you can just go to the line and then i'm just going and giving some different colors of my choice you can just select let me just give some green so randomly you can choose any color of your choice maybe i'll give some blue if you want you can give some gradient also not a problem but anyway make sure that the color should be a good color combinations and the last this one maybe i'm going to give some brown color so you can see here now if you want you can just put the option a b c d or one two three four or if you have the icons you can go to insert click on icons and remember that this particular feature is available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you're using any older version of powerpoint like 2013 or 2010 or 2016 even then this particular uh, icons are not available in that one either you can go search on the net or i have provided uh, one month back a complete video on that one you can just download the icons from there let me just click the icons and i'm going to select randomly a few you can see here i'm going to select eight icons click on insert let me just move this side i'm going to make the height and width as 0.4 only very small you can see here and i'm just going to place it here one by one you can see here let me just place it and then again you can change the color or you can leave it black or it's up to you whichever color you like to have it so you can see here we have almost uh, done with the designing now it's time to add the text so to add the text go to insert text box and add your detail text here i can make it a gray color reduce the font size maybe center align you can see here and then press ctrl d to duplicate this one i'm going to make it a left align ctrl d so this is also left align ctrl d again so this one will be the center align ctrl d this would be a right align you can see here and the last and i'm going to just select this white or the gray and i'm going to give some shadow effect for this so you can see here our uh, design is ready and if you want you can give a little bit of animation to it and if you want you can just add some text here i'm just going to add some text you can see here i just put the gear infographics and i'm just going to select this this three by pressing the control key or the shift key and press control g to uh, group it 
now i'm just going to give a little bit animation you can just go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first uh, this particular the uh, the gear and for that you can add some animation you can just say add animation more entrance effects i'm going to give some basic zoom so it comes something like this if i play it comes something like this and then i'm going to select this and this also i'm going to give the same zoom effect i'm just going to select this animation painter click here instead of uh, coming from uh, center of the slide i'm going to bring it out from the slide so it comes something like this and this should happen maybe with previous if i play it comes something like this you can see here or if you want you can just make it maybe after previous also so then it comes something like this so whichever way you can uh, comfortable you can just use it let me just make it with previous and then each point uh, option has to uh, again pop in then for this i'm going to select and group this one by one you can see here let me just group this i'm selecting press ctrl g you can select the object again hold the shift key and select the icon and press ctrl g you can see here one by one you need to group it or you can make it a separate animation also not a problem so now for this also i'm just going to make it more entrance effect the same basic zoom so if i play it comes something like this you can see here and this on click and then after that the text would come again add animation more entrance effects go to stretch and click ok and effect options it should go from bottom something like this and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here now it's very easy i'm using the animation painter i'm just going to select this one click on this and then i'm going to select the text click on this and this one you can make it from left side can you see here so likewise i can just select the animation painter one by one i can just do it let me just do it quickly you can see here now again animation painter this one this should happen from top you can see here and again this should happen the same and this should happen from right something like this let me just do it for this also animation painter again this okay now let's see if i play all it comes something like this first option second option third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eight so you can see here the whole design is ready the animation is ready you can just replace your own text and you can use it in your own presentations That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.